I'm not really the type to make New Year's resolutions, but to be honest, I get it. Of course, our life doesn't just change because we all get new calendars, but a new year gives us this feeling of a fresh start and it's motivating. We tend to overlook the part that a fresh start means a new path of uncertainty is in front of us, which means good things and bad things are waiting to happen. And to be honest, as exciting it is to know anything can happen, it's also scary to know anything can happen. Regardless, I want to get out of my comfort zone this year. So I'm promising myself right now through the good and the bad that I will not let my fear or anxiety get in the way of prioritizing these three things. Yep. Community by definition. So here's to 2023, a story I'll never forget. So before I say anything, I do want to say sincerely, Happy New Year's from me to you. I really hope that everybody watching this has had a great year. Normally, whenever I start one of my videos, I'm writing in this journal, telling you guys about what's about to happen throughout my day. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be writing anything as we are celebrating the end of this year. So in the spirit of that, I'm going to be reflecting everything that's happened throughout 2023. So basically right now, we're in like in the middle of a movie. Okay, a girl's missing. We don't know where she's at. What's your full name? Oh to be honest it's something that i wish i did a lot more of as it has been a crazy year most of my friends that have kept up with this channel tend to rewatch my videos that's something that i've never done especially since i spent so much time filming and editing them so today i'm taking the chance to look back at everything i've ever documented along with that i'm going to be sharing some of the lessons that i learned throughout 2023 maybe somebody out there can apply the lessons that i learned going into 2024 now there's been a lot of eventful days this year but looking back there's been so many more eventful nights and that's where I want to start. See, one of my goals was to go out more, but believe it or not, that was actually a goal that I had since 2022. I'm pretty sure it's obvious, but I do have a habit of journaling and it's something that I started doing last year because for a long time since moving to Maryland, I really didn't have anybody to talk to about anything. And looking back at it, it was really because I wasn't much of a social person and I wasn't willing to put myself out there. So when I look back at some of the early days in this journal, yes, I did start to go out a little bit more, but it was nowhere near to the extent like this year. Honestly, the most social thing that I did was be a part of a book club. I'll be honest, it wasn't your ordinary book club. Yes, we read books, but along with that, we spent the rest of the night just talking about things that we thought mattered. Let's say every day you go home, you just eat your shit, bro. All that's gonna be going through your mind is just straight sex, nut, 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 nut. You ain't even gonna enjoy this shit for real. You're gonna be busting quick. Well, things that mattered to us at the time. Something that I did every week throughout the whole year and I don't regret it, I had a lot of fun. I don't regret how I spent most of my time but at the end of the year, I did feel like I wanted more because like I said, if I wasn't doing those little things, I was just in my room, journaling, reading, doing stuff that most people would consider to be boring. Even though I like doing those things, I wanted more excitement. I realized that I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, meet more people, do new things, things that I'm not used to doing and I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it but this was the year I was really gonna try my best to put myself out there. And I guess I did. Hear me out, hear me out. When you look at the abyss, the abyss looks back at you, bro. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Dude, dude, please get it off. Get it off. Oh, oh, get us ready for La Teria. I got La Rosa, La Calavera, El Mundo. <laughs> You know, if I were to tell the version of myself last year that I'd be doing all of this, I really wouldn't believe it. Especially because for a long time, I'd find myself uncomfortable in environments that involved large groups of people. Being social really was not my thing, but I'm glad I got out of my show. Now, all that's great, but one thing that has stuck with me throughout the last two years, especially since being a part of a book club, was growth. I never stopped prioritizing learning, and one way that I did that was by reading. Reading is, at this point, a habit of mine that I like to do, because I view reading a book like lifting weights at the gym before my brain. Most people tend to stop learning anything by the time they're out of high school or school in general. And I feel like that's one reason out of many as to why most people don't grow out of their high school self. I'll get more into that a little bit later. One of my goals this year was to prioritize my physical health. I just wanted to be physically active a lot more. Oh! Yes, there you go. 
There you go. There you go. Jim one, Christian zero. Hey, Yak. Ooh, look at that. Hey man, at least he finished. Most people wouldn't. Roberto. Mm. Originally, my idea was to just be consistent in the gym, but I ended up doing a lot more. I'm a G, baby. <laughs> Not far. Goals, bro. Life lesson, never argue as a team because you'll never win a game like that. Real quick, best life advice you could give Shut to somebody. Up. Best life advice you could give to somebody out there going into 2024. You know, it's new year, new me. Not new year, new baby. So always wrap that shit up. Dinner with Jay-Z. Seek nothing outside of yourself. Today's battle is against yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow's a battle against lesser men. Miyamoto Musashi. My biggest goal this year was to post more on YouTube. In the beginning, I really didn't know how I was gonna do it, so I ended up documenting everything I did. Hey, bro, it's okay. I'm a, I'm a cancer, so I can't get cancer. Me too. How much, bro? How much storage do you have on your phone, bro? One of the things that kept me going was something that I learned in this book. In one of its chapters, it's taught me that you really don't have as much time as you think you do. When I was reading it, it hit me that if I really want to do something, now is all I have. For a while, I was thinking about YouTube, but I just kept pushing it off to the side because I kept telling myself, you know, I'm young, I still have all this time, but that was just distracting me from actually doing it. I really don't have tomorrow. Anything can happen at any given time because no matter how hard you try to plan things out, something is always out of your control. And that's another reason why I did all the things that I did this year. 2023 had its ups and its downs, but overall, I honestly think that I had a great year. But the question is, did I make the most of it? I think I did. He's in the most fucked situation. <laughs> We're here with the guy that broke the car even more. I try to beat it with a stick. We're here at what? Six Flags today. <laughs> oh, better not. <laughs> I told you he was going shit. <laughs> Man, man, don't have glasses. We <laughs> do not, bitch. I love ranch. You put ranch on anything. Uh, Matt, lock in, bro. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> <laughs> This is like my eighth time trying to make this outro. You know, I'm gonna just say this. I know a lot can change in a year and the last two years of my life is a pretty good example of that. So if for whatever reason I just fall out with some people, I want you to know, I'm really glad I met you. YouTube has literally changed my life in so many ways and I barely got started. The title is not bullshit. This is literally just a warm up. So trust me when I say I'm so motivated to keep going and I'm gonna go harder in 2024. All that being said, uh, yeah. I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year's. See you next year. I'll do the last one.